Hello Taurus, welcome to your love tarot reading. This is for you and your person, whatever that means to you. It can be relationship, situation trip, bumble date, you know the score. Taurus, this is a general reading, so take what resonates for you. Get rid of the rest. Um, if you like my channel and you vibe with my videos, I would love it if you wanted to subscribe. I'm a new channel, so it really helps me out. And if you've already subscribed, thank you, Taurus. I really, really appreciate it. I really, really do. Um, okay, so let's see, Taurus. Let's take a look at Taurus. Please, angels, tell me what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What is happening in their love situation? What happened in the recent past to make the situation so? Mm. Wow, interesting. I'll have to clarify some of this. Eight of uh, the Emperor. Something stable in your life. Something finally Taurus. Something stable. What what ha what has happened? I don't see any drama here yet. That's good. <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles. You you want to work? You're working on something. You want to work on a relationship here. You want to. There's like a love connection relationship, the one, you know, you're a person, you want to work on this relationship. You have the queen of cups, you're putting in the work and you're also kind of looking at the cup of love here. You know, the queen of cups is the ultimate love card for me. Um, I love the queen of cups, the queen of cups, she's disregard the gender, whatever applies to you. Um, it's just energy. So it's arbitrary. The Queen of Cups is looking at that cup like, you know, this is like pure love, the way she's looking at that cup. And this is like action, you know, work, Eight of Pentacles, working on a relationship or uh, working on a love connection. Queen of Cups really, really just like putting your feelings into it. So it's, it's perfect. It's being tangible. It's putting your feelings into it, pouring all of your heart and soul into this endeavor, whatever this is. I feel like it might be a new love. And it's like you manifested this new love. Or this new love is the magician and they manifested you. I feel a little bit like this, like the, your person is coming up as the magician. That can be a little bit tricky. We'll, we'll take a look at it. But I feel like it's quite, it's quite positive. It's like, I feel like you have a new person in your life, Taurus. I feel like it's a new person and you manifested each other. They manifested you. You manifested them. Who is this magician? In the recent past. Okay, let's see. King of Swords. Okay. I don't see any drama here. We'll take a look at feelings in a second and then we'll find out what's what's happened between you. I don't see, and maybe I'm not meant to see any, any problems here that I can resolve for you because maybe it's going to resolve itself, Taurus. That's so interesting. King of Swords, again, disregard gender. Your person, regardless of, of gender, is someone who's very kind of intellectually minded, very fair minded. Uh, could be someone, mm, even like a lawmaker or someone who uh, lives by the word, someone who makes words, um, some kind of a wordsmith, uh, someone who could be a scientist as well, but, but very fair. So this magician is not, uh, this is not a shady magician. This magician is all about the law. This magician follows the universal law too. This is a great magician. What a great person to have in your life. Wow, you manifested each other, Taurus. Is this just going to be a reading about true love coming true and everything being amazing? Let's hope. Uh, Taurus, how does your person feel about uh, the situation between you at the moment? They do feel like there's a bit of a separation. Okay, maybe that's what's at issue here that we should discuss here, Taurus. Um, but I'll, I'll just say straight up, Taurus, if you're worried about something here with you and your person, it's all going to work out fine. I. I don't think I would be seeing cards this way unless there was something like I feel like there might be an issue here that it's going to be resolved like whatever it is it's small but we'll see but I do feel like it's it's all going to be okay it should all be okay but with the hermit here your person feels 
like you left them behind a little bit maybe you're not paying attention to them maybe you ghosted them they feel ghosted or they're waiting they're waiting for you to communicate maybe they're waiting for you you're waiting for them that kind of thing six of pentacles um they feel like they want your attention they feel like they they want your attention um they're ready to beg even for your attention like they want your attention and nine of pentacles here like it's like they feel like their life is in order their life is on point they have the coin they have the stability they have the creativity in their life and now they're just kind of looking out waiting for you where, where are you where are you taurus what happened what happened to you taurus why why did you did you ghost this person suddenly why would you do that taurus uh, did you maybe accidentally ghost them? I don't know. This person would like some charity from you. They would like some attention from you. Uh, they're very stable. They want to give you love. Taurus, how do you feel about this situation? Mm, too many cards. But nine of, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to communicate. Okay, maybe it's about communication. It's all about communication in my readings today. Okay, let's see. I mean, it always is, I guess, in a way. But... Um, Taurus, how do you feel about the situation? Please show me Taurus's feelings in the situation. Hmm. What kind of a standoff is this, Taurus? What are you doing? Seven of Swords. Someone's trying to get away with something. Someone's spying. You're spying on each other. What are you? What are you? What? Hi, Christos. You're like, you're keeping yourself. You're keeping your feelings and your thoughts to yourself, Taurus. You're being super mysterious because you love this person. You know your soulmates. But you're keeping strong. You're not communicating with them. Why? What is? But you want to communicate with them. And they know you're not communicating with them because they're in the hermit. You're not paying them attention. You're not communicating with them. You're being mm, uh, all mysterious. You're being... What the heck? Why? Are you guys just playing a game? I feel like maybe it's a new relation. Did you just meet and you're kind of like working out like who's who? I feel like the Queen of Cups met the Magician here. And there may be like, you know, first stages of dating. Nobody wants to text first. That kind of thing. Like, it's like a power play. Is this what it is? Okay, let's let's look into this. I'm just going to clarify. Let me use another deck because this is getting ridiculous. Um, let's just clarify the Hermit. Why is the hermit there? Why does this person feel this way? What happened to make them feel so? Seven of Wands. Yeah, there may have been someone's defensive. Someone doesn't want to come off of their high. Someone wants to get, like, gain the higher ground. Someone's defensive. <laughs> Jeez, stupid. Why the high priestess? The hair font. It's like you don't want them to learn too much about you. You want to keep the keys to this mystery to yourself. And this person feels like they're in a hermit because you're being a little bit defensive. It's like you're are you playing hard to get, Taurus? I feel like maybe you're playing hard to get a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're playing hard to get. And so is this person and you're having community like everything's fine everything's perfect you're really into each other like the chemistry is through the roof this is a soulmate relationship you're meant to be together but you're kind of like they they're not texting you back you're not texting them back something happened maybe a slight miscommunication and now everyone's kind of on the defensive trying to like figure out what's going to happen if that is the case, Taurus, then that's really great for you because that is a problem we can resolve in five seconds. And if it's, you know, if it's an established relationship for some of you, um, this will resonate a little different and it's a different storyline, but it's kind of the same. It's like, you know, you're having like silent days or you're trying to figure something out. Maybe someone said something or did something that made the other person feel insecure, but they didn't say. Then that person started acting weird. Now the other person sees the other person acting weird. And it's just like this self-perpetuating circle. But mm, it's nothing bad. I see nothing bad here. I see nothing but goodness. So let's see what this person's next action will be towards you, Taurus. This is so cute. Taurus, this person's next action towards you. <laughs> oh, 
dear Taurus, yeah, you're gonna have it out. You're gonna have a little conversation. And it ends with the star at the bottom of the deck. Amazing. Oh, but you, because you're fixing the, so someone's heart was really broken. The emperor is coming up here as well, and the king of cups. But you got the star at the bottom of the deck and uh, three of swords uh, beneath it. Whatever the silent, like, I, I kind of want to say silent treatment. Whatever these silent moments have been, this lack of communication, defensiveness, your person feeling like they're defensive in the hermit, waiting for you to communicate something, maybe waiting for you to tell them why you feel a certain way, maybe, you know, just not talking. You're trying to figure each other out, you know? You're trying to figure who's going to text first, who's going to apologize first, that kind of thing. And this person, like, you know, like, your wish will come true. Both of your wishes will come true, but someone, someone's heart really hurt. Some, someone, one of you is really sensitive. I feel like it's definitely you, Taurus, Queen of Cups, um, super sensitive, um, water sign, you know, super sensitive. But your person too. Your person is sensitive too. They just maybe they use a different love language or something. They're coming in with the Page of uh, Wands. Knight of Wands as well, like double trouble communication, coming in communication, action oriented. They're going to resolve this problem. And you got the Queen of Wands here as well as action. This is like Wands, 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 doing, 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 sexual energy. They're going to resolve this problem and it's all on fire here for you guys. They're coming in. They're going to put an end to this stupidity. Uh, this is some kind of mis miscommunication, misinformation. Um, an innocent remark or an innocent action could have been taken or an innocent message or lack thereof could have been taken a little too, like, too personally. Then that person stopped talking. The other person is wondering why the other person isn't talking. It's, it's that kind of situation. It will be resolved. This person is coming in fast. Wands are coming in fast. Wands are coming in fast. Um, I can't give you a time frame, but it, this is going to be resolved. This is for sure going to be resolved. No questions asked. This person wants to work it out. And you will not be disappointed, Taurus. Uh, congratulations, Taurus. This is the funnest read we've had so far. And uh, the drama was low, not high. So that's always good. Taurus, if you res resonate with any of this reading, uh, please comment below. Let me know uh, how you feel about it. I hope you're doing well. I'll see you next time. And may the angels protect you.